Drugs used for weight loss have soared in popularity, and now studies show those same drugs could have some significant benefits for your heart. Dr. Nidhi Kumari is on call to tell us more about what researchers are finding. Several studies have found they could lower the risk of serious or even deadly heart conditions. It's incredible. 20% reduction in heart attack, stroke, cardiac death, decreased symptoms in heart failure, and now more recently, reduction in blood pressure. I mean, great news, not a huge surprise. We know obesity and cardiovascular risk go hand in hand, but this is an incredible risk reduction with these medications. So what are cardiologists saying about these studies? I mean, I think cardiologists are seeing this as just another tool to, you know, add on to standard care. You know, they're really elegant drugs, so what they do is they work on a hormone called GLP-1. And what that does is it suppresses hunger in the brain. It slows gastric emptying time, so you feel full longer. And it also improves the way your body handles insulin, which means that you metabolize glucose even better. Hmm. On his face, these all sound positive, but yeah. are there any negatives to taking these medications? Well, there are the rare side effects of pancreatitis. It's contraindicated in certain endocrine can cancers and thyroid cancers. But the most common side effects are a little bit of GI upset, some nausea has been reported, and then you see all over social media loss of weight in the face, and that may look you know, may cause people to look like they've aged quite a bit. So mm. there's the trade-off there. Oh boy, yeah. So should all patients with heart disease and obesity consider taking these medications? What are your thoughts on that? Consider. So let's talk reality not all insurers will cover this and it can cost people one to two thousand dollars a month mm -hmm. for many people this is a lifelong medication because study has shown when you go off this medication you do gain the weight back but I need to emphasize that all of these studies all of these numbers are not only driven by the medication but that's in conjunction with diet and exercise so at the end of the day no matter what new medications are on the horizon important to emphasize having a healthy diet, exercise, good sleep, good lifestyle. That's that's it's key. really fascinating though, you know, when you mention these elegant drugs, how are they different than other drugs that have been on the market? Well, you see, they're very specific in what they're doing, and they are targeting not only a part of the body, but a part of the brain that is involved with obesity. And we never thought of obesity that way. But it's a more holistic way to target the issue of obesity. Well, Dr. Nidhi Kumar, thank you so much. Really good information for us. We really appreciate it. Good to see you today you on this President's Day. <laughs>